on. The results could be disastrous. The companies of the Pacific Telesis Group are making sure this doesn't happen. We are in business to move information and keep it moving over telephone lines and cellular systems through computer networks we design. Information to energize California industry 24 hours a day. The Pacific Telesis Group believes that's progress intelligently planned. Southern California's favorite, Channel 4 News. Sports presents the Games of the 24th Olympiad, brought to you by Northwest Airlines. Northwest's World Perks free travel program lets you fly free fast. By Wear Dated Carpet by Monsanto, with stain protection locked in before the carpet's a carpet. By Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. And by GTE. At GTE, the power is on. We all grew up playing basketball. Me and Greg and Tom. Hey, Beth. Did you notice? No, no, not a clue. And Dad. Uh, Every night it was four of us playing out back by the garage. Oh, or watching the big game on TV. It's been a while since the four of us saw a game. So when the Olympics rolled around, we figured it was time to get the team back together. Hey, hey, Beth. What are you guys doing? We were in the neighborhood. Game's on. Budweiser is proud to help bring the Olympics to America and Americans closer together. You just got a frequent flyer award, huh? That's right. You don't fly frequently. No, infrequently. How can you be a frequent flyer if you don't fly frequently? How can I hit the ball if you're talking How to me? How can you hit the ball if you're going to be talking over there? On Northwest, you don't have to fly a lot to earn a free trip fast. Hey, Slugger, what's happening? I'm out of here, Dad, and I'm going as far as this $3, and 42 cents will take me. Northwest has some of the lowest fares around, but not that low. New, modern, masculine. Hmm? Definitely French. Hmm. Pour Monsieur, the understated fragrance for today's civilized man. Pour Monsieur. It's a new Chanel for men. In these days of self-serve gas stations, computerized banking, and understaffed stores, it seems that no one has the time for personal service anymore. Well, at True Value Hardware Stores, we haven't forgotten that we're working for you. And whenever you have a question or a problem with the do-it-yourself project, we'll do our very best to help. So the next time someone wonders where personal service has gone, you tell them it's still hard at work. Right in here. So make True Value Hardware your store of first choice. Light. It is magical, powerful, essential. At GTE, we place that power at the touch of your hand. The power to open up any darkness. To illuminate the facts of science. Brighten the arenas of sports and business. Create the warm glow that means home. At GTE, we give you the power of light in 6,000 ways. None of them small. At GTE, the power is on. I see your troubles shining through. I see your troubles shining through. Don't stay away to let them show. Capture all the gold in our future. On Coda Color Gold Film. True colors, true colors are beautiful. The 
power of untapped, untouched potential. At GTE, we will put that power in your hands with a new generation of precision materials. It's the power to make your products faster, stronger, more efficient, and to bring breakthrough ideas to life. We're giving it to others. We can give it to you. The power of a new manufacturing edge. Because at GTE, the power is on. It's been a four-year dream. And for one super athlete, the dream is worth its weight in gold. McDonald's presents future Olympic hopefuls. Carlos Tapia Ruano, whose innovative soccer play could lead his country to the gold. Uta Grunewald, who might someday stun the world with her devastating backstroke. Akin Bowali, who will develop the blazing speed that will make his country and his village proud. The powerful Anatoly Nozovitsky, a name to remember in weightlifting. Kelly Peterson, equestrian events. Pericles Sinopolis, Greco-Roman wrestling. Sachiko Tanaka, volleyball. Bob Watson, rings. Alessio Franzoni, cycling. And Jacques Boucle, for whom discus seems the most likely event. McDonald's is proud to sponsor today's U.S. Olympic team and to help keep the dream alive for tomorrow's Olympic hopefuls. Hurricane Gilbert slammed ashore tonight in northeastern Mexico with peak winds of 143 miles an hour and headed inland. The violence of the storm spawned at least 20 tornadoes in Mexico and Texas. High tides and torrential rains threatened huge areas with flooding. NBC's Robert Hager reports from Brownsville, the Texas city nearest the storm center. The backside of the storm is blowing itself out here this evening. And although coastal communities will remain cut off for some time, and it'll take a lot longer to assess damage, the early view is the damage was not nearly so great as had been feared. At the storm's height, South Texas experienced hurricane-force winds on the coast for several hours, and it was brutal. But by evening, the winds here were diminishing fast, as the brunt of the storm passed far to the south through a much less populated area of Mexico. One remaining concern, what will happen to the storm as it moves inland? There is still the threat of inland flooding and the potential of damage to the Texas citrus crop. Robert Hager, NBC News, Brownsville. The question now is where Gilbert will head next. NBC's Robert Bazell is at the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Connie, Gilbert has now moved mostly inland. It's over Mexico. It's still a hurricane moving in the characteristic counterclockwise direction. It's dropping an enormous amount of rain, possibly 20 inches in some areas. That's going to cause a lot of local flooding, much of it probably very dangerous in some parts of Mexico. Now, usually hurricanes become tropical storms very quickly after they go over land. But this one is so big and so powerful that it's still a hurricane, and forecasters here at the National Hurricane Center think it will stay a hurricane over land for most of the night. After that, it will become a tropical storm. It will move northward, causing a lot of rain in parts of Texas and other parts of the United States that need that rain because of the drought. So eventually, this bad story is going to become good news. Connie? Thank you, Bob. I'm Connie Chung in New York. More from Seoul in a moment. You can have AT&T without spending a lot of money, and you can have the best quality in the world. So uh, it makes for a smart business decision to come back and, and look. No reason in the world someone can't call and say, I want you to look at this bill because I want to make sure I'm getting the very best value. And that's part of the service we offer. We're not afraid to stand up to that. We clearly have competitive prices. I mean, just come and look. Compare. You've got to look at what we have to offer. Go. <laughs> Now, depend on new improved Kodak batteries to last longer than ever. So day or night, we'll be there. Kodak batteries depend on us. 
it dawns, Southern California. The incredible Federated games have started today and every day. Federated superstores will be offering unheard of prices on famous name home electronics. It's a winner. This 13-inch sharp color TV has great features and a new low price. Just $163. Store-wide discounts in every department during the Federated games at your nearest Federated superstore. cities in 10 countries across the Pacific. They're playing our song. United Airlines Royal Pacific Service. We dedicated to giving you the service you deserve halfway around the world. Come fly the friendly skies. This is a Channel 4 News Olympic update with Bill Lagatuta. And good evening, everybody. Hurricane Gilbert slammed into northern Mexico today, about 120 miles south of the U.S. border, with winds clocked at 143 miles per hour. But so far, no reports of any loss of life today from the storm. Most everyone in the area had been evacuated. So far, southern Texas has not been hit as hard as expected, despite tornadoes and heavy flooding. A commuter plane made an emergency belly landing tonight in Denver. The pilot of the Continental Express could not lower his landing gear. The runway was cleared. Plane skidded to a stop. No one was hurt. And in Los Angeles, a jury has decided that Lorimar Productions had no cause to fire Valerie Harper from her hit situation comedy on NBC. Harper was awarded $1.8 million in damages. That's a brief look at the news headlines. We'll have more news later, including the complete broadcast of the Channel 4 News Nightside at Midnight following the opening ceremony.